The ceremony marks a time in history. For the Army, it's the return of the 1st Armored Division to U.S. soil after an absence of 40 years abroad. For the United States Department of Defense, it's a milestone in the progress of BRAC. Bringing the 1st Armored Division back to the States can be traced to this report from the 2005 Defense-Based Closure and Realignment Commission. Now, BRAC has brought about the closure of several military installations, but here at Fort Bliss, it's brought about some unprecedented growth. Initiated in 1988, BRAC was conceived as a way to increase efficiency and reduce costs. The primary motivation for this round is transformation. Fort Bliss has grown by threefold since just 2005. It's a growth that can be seen everywhere. There's new housing. Schools at all levels are expanding. MWR, PX are vibrant and modern. Newly constructed highways are handling the substantial surge in the flow of traffic that leads to new military facilities. We call it a three-pronged construction program. Uh, one is your operational facilities for your soldiers, one is a quality of life for family members, and the other one is the ranges, the training area. The 2005 base closure and realignment is one of several DOD initiatives at Fort Bliss, all focused on giving the nation soldiers who train to be the best and who live at an installation built for quality. So you just think newest, biggest, and best, and that's Fort Bliss. All implementations of the 2005 BRAC should be underway by mid-September this year. 2015 is slated to be when the next round of BRAC could take shape. That's the Army Today.